Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Shino and we're back in our modded to the max two series. This time I'm bringing you a mod spotlight video on the night watcher mod. Is dealing with some of the locals becoming unbearable? Then the answer to your problems is right here. Well, technically right there. Let me introduce you to the night watcher mod by buggy. The night watcher mod introduces a new entity to the game called the night watcher. The Night Watcher establishes a barrier around it that eliminates hostile spawns based on the player's choice in the configuration files. The mod is available on the Vintage Story mod database and is uploaded to work with version 1.18.1, but you will need to update some of the files to make it usable with 1.18.8. Those changes can be found in the comments section of the mod page. Additionally, a member of the community named Kara has updated the mod with these corrections and made that file available on the Vintage Story mod database. Once the mod is installed, you can configure the mod to allow or block the spawning of wolves, bears, and drifters. To do that, go to your mod config folder and open the watcher config.json file. Here you can change the radius and change the false to true for any of the entities you want to block. Now you're ready to craft the night watcher. The crafting recipe requires a gold plate and a temporal gear. With gold being a rare resource in large quantities, you may have to get through several seasons before you're able to craft the Night Watcher for yourself. Once crafted though, the Night Watcher is placed in the world like a normal straw dummy. Choose the location and deploy. Something that I find fun is that the Night Watcher will occasionally turn its head from side to side as if it's scanning for threats. Now, the Night Watcher will not drive away existing creatures in the radius chosen, but it will prevent future spawns. You need to realize that if you set the Night Watcher to block drifters, it will block all drifter spawning. This means on the surface and under in the caves. It will not have an effect on bells, saw blades, or locust spawning. If you want to retrieve or move the Night Watcher, you can pick it back up with a shift right click. So what is my take on the Night Watcher mod? On the pro side, the Night Watcher mod allows players to customize the range and entities to block from spawning. And being able to configure the mod for range and spawn type adds another level of customization to my own playstyle. On the con side, in its current state, to use it in 1.18.8, you do need to feel comfortable in editing the mod files. It's not hard to do, but some of you may not feel comfortable enough to do that on your own. So overall, I would suggest giving the mod a try out in your own world and see if the Night Watcher can help make your vintage story survival a little less hairy. Reach out to me in the comments section below if you have any questions about this mod or ideas for other mods that you want to see a spotlight video on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.